A T20 cricket match consists of two teams playing 20 overs each, numbered from 1 to 20. The run scored in any over is a non-negative integer. I can understand that. The run rate at the end of any over is the average run scored up to and including that over. Again, understandable. The run rate at the end of kth over is the average number of runs scored in overs numbered 1, 2, 3 till k. Where 1 less than or equal to k less than or equal to 20, k a positive integer. We know this stuff. People who follow cricket just know this stuff intuitively. The following table indicates a run rate of a team at the end of some of the overs during a T20 cricket match up to two decimal places. 1 less than or equal to n minus 2 less than n plus 6 less than or equal to 20. n minus 2 overs after n overs, n plus 2 overs, n plus 4 overs, n plus 6 overs. Each of these is a positive integer, non-negative integer, positive integer because there is a run rate given there. It is also known that the team did not score less than 6 runs or more than 15 runs in any over. Did not score. So, 6 less than or equal to runs in an over, less than or equal to 15 in any given over. If we can find n, this becomes simpler. Average of 8, total till that point should be 8 into n minus 2. 7.43 into n. 8.11 into n plus 2. 8.45 into n plus 4. 8.08 into n plus 6. The juiciest number for me. This is 0.11 number. 0.11 is 1 by 9. I know that. So 8.11 into something should give me a, an integer. So this is 8 1 by 9. This number is 8 1 by 9 or 73 by 9. I multiply it by something to get an integer because integer number of runs has to be scored at the end of kth over. That number of overs has to be a multiple of 9. It has to be 9 or 18. So this n plus 2 is 9 or 18. It cannot be 18. Why not? This is where 18 will be 20, there will be 22. 20 over match. Or n plus 2 is 9. So this is 9. This is 7. This is 5. This is 11. This is 13. Total number of runs at the end of 5 overs is 5 into 8, 40. At the end of 7 overs, 7 into 4, 7.43. Now that 0.43 makes sense to me. 0.43 is 3 by 7. 0.14 is 1 by 7, 1428. So 7 into 7 is 49, plus 3, 52. 9 into 8 is 72, plus 1, 73. 11 into 8 is 88. 0.45, I would have been happier if it had been given us 0.44. Hey, we don't, we don't complain too much. 9.09 into 5, 45.45, yeah, 45 is fine. 45.45, yeah, it should be fine, it should be alright. Anyway, it is 4 by 11. 11 eights are 88, plus 4 takes us to 92. No, no, it is not 4 by 11, it is 5 by 11, sorry. 9.1 by 11 is 0 0.909 into 5 is 0 0.4545. So 0.45 is correct, it is 5 by 11, 88 plus 5, 93. I messed up my math, 93 is correct. 13 into 8 is 104. 0.08 is 1 by 13, 104 plus 1, 105. We know at the end of 5 overs they were at 40, at the end of 7 overs they were at 52, at the end of 9 overs they were at 73, 93, 105. Good. What is the value of n? We know n to be 7. N. In which of these pairs of over numbers the team could have scored 22 runs in total? 6 and 7. 6 and 7 they scored only 12 runs. They scored only 12 runs or they should score at least 6 runs in any over. So the 6th over they scored 6, 7th over they scored 6. 7th and 8th. The sixth over, the seventh over, they scored only six runs. In the eighth over, they could have scored a maximum of 15. Six plus 15 is 21, 22 is not possible. Eight and nine, eight and ninth over, 52 to 73, 21 runs, not 22. Nine and ten, that is very interesting. In the ninth over, they could have scored 10 runs. In the tenth over, they could have scored 12 runs. 9 plus 10 is 21, that is fine. 10 plus 11 is 20, that would have also been fine. This is possible. 10 and 11 together, 20 runs they scored is not possible. This is the answer. Only in the 9th and 10th, that 2 over set, could it have even been 22 in any scenario?
Other scenarios are not possible. Lovely. Which of the following over numbers the team must have scored the least number of runs? Oh, nice. Sixth and seventh over. Sixth over and seventh over. The team scored six runs. Others, maybe, maybe not. Must have scored sixth or seventh. Seventh is there. Done through. Happy. Home and drive. 